You might have heard of the Persian character Nasruddin Hodja. When I was a young child, I used to watch the series Mulla Nasruddin on Doordarshan with a lot of fondness. Of the various stories, one particular story has stayed with me. The story goes something like this. One evening, Mulla Nasruddin is found under a street lamp looking for something. There's a man who passes him by. He looks at him with amusement and says, "What are you looking for?" Mulla Nasruddin says, "I lost my keys." To which the man says, "Is this where you lost them?" Mulla says, "No, actually I lost them in my home, but this is where I have a street lamp and there is light, so I'm looking for it here." And I find the story really fascinating and really applicable to many domains of our life. But one particular area where I find a lot of application is in the realm of self-awareness in the way we look at feedback. The leaders I work with very often have a corporate 360 tool that gives them a sense of how the people around them in the current company think of them. There's an online survey that's sent and very often the results are something like this. You're a 3.5 on results, you're a 4.2 on team leadership, you're a 3.6 on strategy and so on. Now it looks all factually very accurate, but it's often quite useless and not actionable. When I ask the leaders, tell me a little bit about who knows you the best. in the various avatars you have across your friends family ecosystems you interact with and the communities you belong to the list often is much wider and if we look at what percentage of that list the leader is tapping into very often the number is around 20% it's a bit like the mulla nasruddin story where the keys are somewhere else but just because you have light you look for the keys where there is light i think there's an opportunity for us to be thoughtful about how we gather external feedback what questions we ask who gets us the information where we seek the information from and how we make sense and if we can do it well and thoughtfully we can build a solid foundation of self awareness on which we can play to our potential in my recently published book play to potential lead a full life become the best you i have one full chapter dedicated to how we can develop our external self awareness the link to where you can find the book is in the description section below I hope you find the book useful. Thank you for listening.